Hey everyone, in today's video we're going to be going over 8 important portrait tips that every photographer should know. And then the intro will be like blah blah blah, just a crazy. <laughs> To help me with today's video, we have fashion photographer Kaylee June. Thank you for having me here today. From beautiful <laughs> Australia. And let's just get straight into these tips. Let's do it. All right, so our first tip today is to add accessories to the model. So this can really emphasize certain parts of a photograph and just sort of spice it up a little bit if it's looking a little bit too dull or not really interesting. Um, adding accessories can really help with um, just adding something extra to the photo. Tip number two, get on the model's level. So scientifically, it has been proven that if you're viewing a photo where a model is basically at your level, not too far above, not too far below, you'll actually feel more at ease with viewing the photo and more comfortable with looking at it. So if the model's standing in front of you, get them to bend down to your level just a little bit. And then if they're sitting down, then bend down to their level or whichever way it works. Make sure you guys are both on my level. Yeah, basically. Tip number three. Make sure that there's no hair around the model's neck. Sometimes when there's too much hair around the model's neck, it looks like they almost don't have a neck and that's not really good photographically. So you want to make it look like it's elongated and that there's a lot of space there. And especially if the model's wearing accessories, you want to make them viewable. So when adding accessories, there's a few things you can look at doing. You can add earrings, necklaces, you can even add a hair piece if it makes the photo look a little bit more interesting. Tip number four, remove tension around the model's mouth. Sometimes more inexperienced models will have a lot of tension around this area and it does make the photograph look quite strained with expressions and just not very comfortable to look at. Um, yeah, so it's always good to make sure that there's no tension in that area. You can ask the model to just softly blow out of their mouth and that will remove a bit of the tension and also make it just look a little bit more relaxed really. So along with tension in the mouth, make sure there's no tension around the model's shoulders. Get them to loosen it up a little bit, just move their shoulders about just to make sure it's going to be They look relaxed. more comfortable. Yeah. Tip number five, you don't always have to crop in camera. You can do this by just taking a step backwards and making sure you get a little bit more in the background of the image. This is always just good if you're not entirely certain on how you want the image to look final. If you're indecisive. Yeah, exactly. If you can just like take a step back, get a little bit more in the background, then that gives you the option to crop a little bit later on. A lot of people will say that you should always crop in camera, but I actually yeah. think having that second option is very helpful. It's always good. I find like if you if you get too close in, there's absolutely no room to move. You're kind of you're yeah. kind of uh, dedicated. <laughs> you're committed to that photo. Exactly. But you always have a second option if you shoot a little bit wider and you just yeah. crop in. Very true. Tip number six: Create a more interesting portrait by shooting through things. If you're looking for new angles with your work, this is a really, really good concept to try out. Uh, if you shoot through things or even hold something in front of the camera lens just to make it look a little bit more interesting or create a new shape or um, angle with your work, this can be a really interesting way to do that. Tip number seven, watch the model's hands. And this is an important one. <laughs> yes, definitely. So I don't know if you've ever noticed this before when you've been retouching, but if you have your hand up like this, it's very, very hard to retouch. <laughs> um, so it's always good to get the model to face their hand this way and it's a lot easier to retouch. It looks nicer, more yeah. sleek. It's just better that way. <laughs> Another thing we were talking about is make sure that hand is not very tense either. I feel like models, and also not like this, not like this kind yeah. of, or like a... And sometimes it can look like a claw, like if they're like that, and just get them to sort of move their hand, move their fingers like a little bit closer together. It's got to be really relaxed. Not Jurassic Park. No, not Jurassic Park. No, no, no T-Rex. <laughs> no Reptar here. Because <laughs> Reptar is a dinosaur. <laughs> and Rugrats. No, no yeah, one. Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. I, I got the Rugrats. Yeah, yeah. okay. <laughs> Tip number eight. When you want to find the best light, just have the model turn around in a circle. And that's my favorite one. This is especially useful for if you're shooting in harsh light because it's really hard to do that sometimes. So if you can get the model to turn in a circle, then you can move with them and see where the light is best hitting their face. Um, sometimes this might be backlit or in full sun, just depending on the time of day. And then you'll know what the best way to shoot is. Yeah, exactly. It's really easy. Also, seeing all those different types of of light, you can kind of pick and choose what you how you want to shoot. Yeah, exactly. Instead of just shooting one way and thinking, oh, that's all I have to yeah. shoot. So those are our eight portrait tips that we think every photographer should know. Thank you so much, Kaylee, for being in my video. We're all the way here in Australia. No worries. Thanks for recording for this. And these are tips that we personally use. All so, the time. All the time. All the time. We're using them outside. Yeah. For the video. <laughs>
So you guys know it's legit. Yeah. And uh, if you guys like Star Wars, just like, subscribe, <laughs> leave us a comment. Which which Star Wars person you guys like the best? Which character do you like? Which the character best? that you guys like best? The stormtrooper. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks, guys. Bye. It's like this is awkward because <laughs> Reptar is like an icon. Yeah, I don't know. He's what on it chocolate is. bars. I love that. <laughs> I've never watched Star Wars. I've never watched it in my life. <laughs> Can you tell us about Star Wars? What do I say? Who's the main character? Princess Leia. <laughs> Give us that like, you guys. <laughs> That's true.